Okay, like I mentioned, uh, oh, we wanna we wanna clean the jets in this uh, carburetor. This is uh, from a 2007 from the Shadow. If you wanna see the other videos? Uh, just uh, click uh, at the end of this video. There's gonna be the uh, the uh, video how to remove this carburetor step by step. Now, uh, like I mentioned, uh, we only uh, gonna focus on cleaning the jets on this carburetor. Why? Because that's the problem that we're having. I'm like, I'm like 9,900 uh, percent sure that that's the problem. Now we're we're gonna the carburetor goes like this in the bike, goes like this. So we're gonna turn it, and uh, we're gonna remove uh, these four bolts right here. Now, I want to mention, because I already work, I, I've been working on these bolts, and most of them, they, they, they were uh, easy to loosen up, these bolts, but not this one. Uh, it was too tight, and uh, it looks like they've been working on it before, so I tried to unscrew it, and it was just, uh, you know, damaging the, the, uh, the screw that little bolt there so what i did so go get to one of these and use there's just an idea to do just hold the the bolt and then turn it and it's gonna work it's gonna work all right you won't be able to remove it i already did it i already loosened up that bolt so we're gonna unscrew now that bolt see it's still a little bit hard to remove even that I already lo loosen up this bolt. If you can go and find this bolt and replace it, do not put it back in the carburetor because in the future you're gonna have trouble removing it. Uh, with this thing, I don't wanna disassemble all of this. We're gonna remove this pin right here. There's a little pin. We're gonna remove it and uh, we can get this thing out of there. So get the flat screwdriver. To remove the pin. Uh -huh. There you go. Just try to remove that pin and do not lose it. All right. Wherever you put it, do not lose it. You're gonna need a later. And then there is a little washer, and then you can pull this thing up and the whole thing is gonna come off there is the uh cover for the carburetor if if you bought a uh, a rebuild kit you will have this gasket i didn't buy a rebuild kit all right i'm not worried about rebuilding this carburetor because i know it's working it's working good it's working properly but uh the only problem is being that it's not the bike is only running in shock so we want to clean the jets here we have the jets right here these two this is the floater and you have a needle right here the one that lets the fuel uh, comes down all right so again I'm not worried about that because I know we have we have um, fuel in the system so we want to remove these carburetors you can remove it from here all right let's unscrew the jet from here there you go be patient with it, alright? You don't want to damage it. You be patient with it. Until you remove it. Huh. Yeah, I see the problem already. <laughs> I see the problem already. There. Now, I want you... Wow, man. Okay, here are the jets. Now you can see, uh, you can you can see there is there is no light <laughs> through the jets. Uh, anyway, there is no light. There, here is the eye of the jet, or here or here. You should be able to look through it. You should be able to see some light through it. But you don't see anything. They're super clogged. They're really clogged, really dirty. So we're gonna clean those jets. Uh, the procedure is really easy.
Okay, and now that we're here, uh, we can also uh, we remove just the top part of this jet right here. So we're gonna remove the whole thing. You can grab a seven millimeter wrench and just uh, remove it. Because we want to clean these little eyes right here. It has some little holes around the jet. We want to clean those. And also here's another the other one. It has a little, little eyes. We want to be able to see through those eyes, all right? And also in the big eye right here, you want to be able to see light in the other side. So we're gonna clean this up. Let's put the uh, carburetor aside, all these parts. You, you can put those jets in uh, carburetor parts cleaner, such like this. Uh, you can get it from AutoZone and uh, there is a little basket inside there. You uh, open it, put the parts there, no plastic or rubber parts, just metal parts. Put it there, leave it for a couple hours and it's gonna clean, it's gonna clean real good. But I'm not gonna use it today. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a piece of wire. All right, so in order to clean this, um, carburetor jets we're gonna use a uh, carb cleaner uh, so we are going to spray those things and uh, I got me some uh, wires you know you just cut a wire that you had around laying around the house and um, spraying the eyes be careful with your eyes with your own eyes right um, use some uh, glasses or something safety glasses you don't want some of that carburetor spray in your eyes so get a piece of wire if it's too skinny you can use you know put two together and then just go through the little eye right there okay and then uh, you're just gonna start um, pushing through the little eye after you um, After you spray some carb cleaner, just push in to be able. And I mean, I can feel this thing is super clogged, man. I can I can feel the the little wire gets stuck there, like it can it can't go through. So this part is gonna need a lot of cleaning. Again, you should be able to pass the wire through the jet. There you go. Now you can see we got we got the wire through the jet, and then just move it back and forth, right? Back and forth until all that debris inside the jet is gone, and um, just keep doing that. Okay, now I want to show you how they look now. Let me see if I can focus this thing right here. I know you're able to see that little eye in the middle of the jet. That's what you want to see. You want to see light in the other side. Right? Look at this one. You see? You, you're going to notice uh, one has the uh, bigger eye than the other one because one is for the chuck and the other one is for the, you know uh, whenever the chuck is off so you want to see through these jets all right you're going to be able to see that because that's the reason why the bank is not running that's why that's why i was telling you i'm just going to focus on the jets because i knew that that was going to be the problem so jets are clean we're going to put everything back together uh make sure you pass the wire through these uh, little holes as well uh the bigger jet this one right here it has some holes as well but you can see through those holes too you see you can see through those holes so they have to be clean as well so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show you how to install everything back together let's just do backwards whatever we did to remove everything don't miss any holes place all the hoses where they were before uh, make sure you install the clamps back uh, the throttle cables make sure you install all uh, uh, both of them uh, make sure which one was in the back, which one was in the front, uh, everything. Uh, make sure you put everything back together. And then I'm just going to show you if this repair worked for my bike. Okay. 
uh, user's recommendation uh, when you do this procedure clean the carburetors and everything remove the old fuel uh, you see it's kind of yellowish remove all, all the, the old fuel that is in the tank uh, before you install it back you know just uh, put it in a container careful with the spills <laughs> uh, but yeah do that uh, put a uh, fresh fuel in the tank and uh, some uh, cleaner uh, use uh, some of these uh, sea foam uh, there's some other cleaners that I have around here I don't see them at the moment but uh, use use uh, some of that sea foam or something to clean the uh, uh, all the uh, fuel system uh, buy some uh, something from out of zone really so wherever uh, you go to and then get something uh, to keep to keep the, the, the tank clean okay uh, just use an uh, advice.